Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... We got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. When you're burned, you've got nothing. No cash, no credit, no job history. You're stuck in whatever city they decide to dump you in. Miami. You do whatever work comes your way. You rely on anyone who's still talking to you. <laughs> A trigger-happy ex-girlfriend. You shoot them. An old friend who used to inform on you to the FBI. You know, spies. Bunch of bitchy little girls. Family, too. Hey, is that your mom again? If you're desperate. Someone needs your help, Michael. Bottom line, until you figure out who burned you, you're not going anywhere. Previously on Burn Notice. Someone out there wants you dead, and we both need to know who. You're really gonna do this? Hunt them down? The enemy of my enemy could be my friend. I got the chemical analysis back from the explosion. Professional. Any progress on your bomber? Nope. Check the blast. Crude IED. Amateur. Hour. We recruited you because you're a good liar. Guess we can't complain too much when you lie to us. Your bomber couldn't go out the front door after they said it. If they went off the balcony... I could check the security cameras at the businesses along the river. When you work for an intelligence agency, you operate within an official structure. There's a chain of command to report to, protocols to be observed. No one questions their mission. But when you freelance, you don't have those luxuries. Getting your team on board may require some convincing. I don't have a problem with hunting down someone who planted a bomb at your place. I have a problem with why you're hunting him. If this was about revenge, I'd be fine with it. Revenge is a waste of time. Well, so is watching TV and eating candies. You do it because it feels good. You are finding a killer for the people who ruined your life. When I find him, I'll have more on them. Ah, intelligence gathering. Right. He should at least suffer a little. Well, when I find him, there'll be some pain involved. Are you happy? Delighted. You see that storage facility? It has security cameras that cover the approach to your loft from the road. Here's the name of the service rep who installed the security system and the model number. You're welcome. You do care. Run along before I change my mind. Spies love technology upgrades. When someone replaces old equipment, a computer, a cell phone, a PDA, getting information becomes as easy as looking through the trash. I cannot believe Phil didn't call you. I was up on an insult, up in Boca. They had me come down here and do your service out there. I got the paperwork right here. It's going to take a long time? No, it shouldn't be too long. It's uh, just a simple switch out of a unit. I should check with them. No, you should yell at them is what you should do. I'm going to get started here. Yeah. When you need to steal information in a hurry, just arrange the technology upgrade yourself. Ron, it's Kay at Evergreen. Yeah, there's a guy here doing an upgrade, but I don't have him on the schedule. Hang on. I'm on with Ron Lummer. He said he needs to speak to you. Yeah, Ron. Yeah, who is this? No, no, no. You're looking in the wrong files. It's Evergreen Storage. It's on your desk by the ball by the ball about? Guy. I don't have a file. You found it? Found what? Yeah. Who is this? Oh, looks like Phil dropped the ball on this one. I'm calling the police right now. No, 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 no. Don't be too hard on them. Everybody makes You're mistakes. You're breaking the law. Don't touch anything. You know me, Ron. Anything for you. Just save me. Do you hear me? Ah. You're going to jail. I'm calling. What did he say? Well, somebody's in trouble, but it ain't me. All right, sorry for the inconvenience. If you need to buy a few seconds in an office environment, programming a computer to dial every phone in an office simultaneously is simple and cheap. Just set up your cell phone to trigger the call remotely. Woo! Sounds like you guys are busy. To get away clean from an office, it's okay to run. People run out of offices all the time. If the look on your face says, I'm in a hurry, you can go as fast as you want. Thank you. It's all about covering ground before the yelling starts. Hey! Hey, stop! The one you love is closer than you think. What's your say? The 
the one who burned you is closer than you think. What? What? I cut your attention. Not funny thing. <sighs> this is what your life's become, Michael. Running around like Carla's errand boy. I'm doing this so I can get out from under Carla. The guy who blew me up, she hates him. So I would like to meet him. I think I found something. Pass the camera twice in 90 minutes the day of the bombing. Right time to... Collapsible ladder for getting down from the balcony city work outfit keeps people from asking questions. Meet the man who tried to kill me. Huh. Kind of ordinary for a spy killer. What were you expecting? Well, I don't know. You know, after all this, like, boots and a mask, at least. You know, a, a cape, maybe? His gear is from City of Miami Public Works. Capes aren't standard issue. <laughs> Fee's checking it out. Hey, good news. Something to take your mind off all this. I got a way to score some Dolphins tickets. Sam. Come on, Mikey. When's the last time you did something that regular people do? Don't be afraid. I'll be right there with you. 50-yard line, third row, beer in big plastic cups. And how are we getting these tickets? What do you mind? Sean Martin. He used to play for the Finns in the 90s. He, um, he needs a little favor. And there it is. Yeah, well, come on. Look, we can probably wrap this up in a day. <laughs> We're supposed to meet him at 2. Most of these guys I handpicked in the roughest part of Overtown. Pulled them out of broken families, gangs, put them on the field. See, Mike, he's a great humanitarian, and he's got tickets on the 50-yard line. Sam said you had a problem. Not me. One of my players, Corey Jensen. Good kid, stays out of trouble, but he got into a fight the other day. A fight? What about? Not sure. I just know the guy he fought is bad news. Felix Cole. A local gangster. Word is, he wants Corey dead. Gangster, this is the little problem. Uh, yeah, hey, Sean, what exactly were you hoping for here, favor-wise? He's at my place with his sister. I just wanted you guys to go by and talk to him and see what the options are. Well, if he's being hunted, he shouldn't be staying at your place. Won't be long before they look there. Mike's right. Look, let me swing by. I'll pick him up. Thanks, sir. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, so it's not a little problem, but we're not exactly talking nosebleed seats either here, huh? Come on. Hmm? Whoa, Mike. We got a visitor. Hello, Michael. It's now a good time. Carla, so great to see you. You might want to give Sam your keys. We need to talk. Let me back to the loft. You sure, Mike? You sure. Don't I get tied to the chair? Don't go soft on me now, Carla. I thought we'd keep this meeting a little more casual. We want to know how your investigation is going. We? Who's we? Love to meet the team if they're around. Michael, sit down. We got our analysis back at the explosive at your place. Same method and materials used on the other operatives that were attacked. Operatives? Plural. How many exactly? Do I get names? No. I thought you weren't going to tie my hands. I see your work. You do just fine with your hands tied. Everything I can share with you is here. And it stays here. Look get over. Let us know when you're done. What if I have to go to the little boy's room? <laughs> you're gonna have to hold it. My men have orders to shoot you if you try to live the room. <laughs> Hey, Mike. 
wife? Well, that was a quickie. You look unbruised. Just a few paper cuts. I gotta look at Carla's files. She thinks the bomber's not local. Oh, so the big bad bird notice that he's a step behind you. You think it's gonna stay that way? Well, I asked for a list of all demolition experts who have spent time in Serbia and Montenegro. Said I saw a pattern there. Yeah, we got another meeting on the books. Nice. Pete's upstairs with the kids. I'm just heading out to get dinner for everybody. Pizza time? Yeah. Uh, Mike, just a heads up. This one has Fee a little fired up. Sorry, I was uh, delayed. Oh, that's okay, Michael. I was getting to know your guests. Hey, uh, I'm Corey. This is my little sister, Tammy. Hi, I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. They told me about their situation. It seems this man, Felix, he took Tanya for a ride in his car. And then he attacked her. And she escaped, barely. And then Corey went after him with a baseball bat. I found the crying in the street. I just wanted to make sure he never tried to come back. No explanation necessary. Use a golf club next time. Greater force to a small area. Um, yeah. But now he's after me. His guys came to my house. They tried to shoot me in the street. I mean, I don't know where to go. It's fine. We'll take care of it. Would you excuse me? Fiona, could I talk with you out on the balcony? Michael, I'm going to say this once. We are helping these kids. See, this is a job for the police. Oh, sure. If we let Felix kill Corey, we'll have more evidence when he comes after this girl again. You made your point. We can get them out of town. No. They've done nothing wrong. They're not going anywhere. That sick son of a bitch is going somewhere and this is not a discussion fiona you're letting your emotions get the better of oh, no i'm doing better than that i'm letting my feelings run the show and i feel very strongly about this felix works out of that club mostly His crew boost cars for the 24 casing. That's him next to the GTO. And what was I thinking? He's a stone cold gangster. No, he doesn't deserve to be called a gangster. Anyone who attacks a 15 year old is a pervert. It's just, see, the thing is, ever since the word went out, his whole gang's after me. The whole 24K crew. The whole. 24k crew. Oh, this is getting better and better. You see that guy he's talking to? The guy with the glasses by the table? That's Tony Soto, the boss. Felix earns a lot of money for that guy. Any car that gets boost from here to Midtown, it's his guys. Listen, seriously, I don't think there's anything you guys can do. Oh, don't worry, Corey. There's a long list of things we can do. You know, just for the record, when I said favor, I, I was thinking, like, find somebody's lost dog or something like that. You're going to have to work a little harder than you're used to. I work plenty hard, lady. I just make it look easy. Corey's up against an organization here, Fee. Felix is well connected. Well, then we'll just have to disconnect them, won't we? Tony won't back Felix. We put him out of business. A new gang of car thieves is coming to town. You want to take him head on? Well, then we got to stash Corey and his sister Tanya somewhere for a bit. Yep. Corey and Tanya are getting settled, and I'm making spaghetti. Excuse me. Ma, I'm sorry. Uh, Fiona really felt strongly about them being in a nicer environment than the loft, and... Uh, Oh, well, you know, she she was really not in the mood to discuss the point. It's fine. If you didn't bring people over, I'd never see you. Oh, and thank you for what you did for your brother. For, for what? Your brother's papers. When he got out of jail. Uh, 
the arrest was erased like it never happened you didn't do that not exactly it was uh it was done for me oh well thank your friends for me then yeah my friends put him in jail in the first place actually so Sometimes I forget how complicated your life is. There's a reason armies wear uniforms, even though they make them easier to spot. Sometimes that's what you want. Uniforms suggest organization, power, and numbers. These, in turn, inspire fear. And as any good operative knows, there's no more effective weapon than fear. Nice car. It's too bad, really. What's too bad? Pepper grenades are used by anti-terrorist units to disable and stun. Not lethal, but a face full of pepper gas will keep them pretty busy. No, no, no. Don't go anywhere. Or just start. <laughs> Melting through the engine block of a car isn't hard if you know what you're doing. A few pounds of thermite in a coffee can and a fuse will do the trick. And put on a pretty good show. Felix! Felix! Felix, over here. It's time for you to leave Miami. <laughs> did that to his car he's going to come after you better than him coming after you we're just sending him a message it's time for him to move on mm, sounds like it damn oh, i looked through those pictures mr axe gave to me you recognize anyone yeah this dude here is jb he's definitely big time that's Roderick. and this dude here they call reek these three are felix's main boosters i found some crackers Mom? Hmm? These are like cardboard. Well, they were in the back of the cupboard. They're a few years old. Corey's been helping me clean out all the old food in the house. He ate a can of smoked oysters that I've had since you were a baby, honey. Mm, a little salty, but they really hit the spot. Thanks, Miss Weston. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> can we go home now? Not yet. This was a good first step, but we still have to be careful. Is there any family that you have that Felix might know about? Nah, it's just me and Tanya. My mom passed last year. We got family up north, but I need to finish school here. I got a chance at a scholarship. Coach Martin looks after us if we need it. Well, I think it's time to talk to Coach Martin. <laughs> neighborhood's talking about what happened with Felix yesterday. The engine of his car melted into the road. It's crazy. Yeah, well, crazy is kind of what you want in a situation like this. I mean, you want Felix to worry about something that's bigger than some kid beating him up. Sounds like a plan to me. If there's anything I can do to help. Yeah, actually, I need you to keep your head down for a while, because this is going to get worse before it gets better. Sam, you're asking me to hide? Hide? Oh, no, 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 of course not. I just need you to be someplace where no one can see you. <laughs> Until I give you all clear. You know, it's for the kids. When you need to get into a building in a hurry, you can always count on a fire exit. Every building has them. It's just about knowing how to use them. 
The right shape charge will put a big enough dent in a steel door to disengage the lock, which can turn a fire exit into a convenient and unexpected entrance. A coil of debt cord attached to a rubber mat will give you the explosion you need and allow you to point it wherever you need it to go. SWAT teams call it a hockey puck. <clears throat> Let me do that. I have a more delicate touch. I made some progress finding a would-be assassin today. Oh? Yeah, there's a chance he works at ASA dismantling. The city contracts their demolition work with them. I think I'll pay him a visit, see what I can find out. So the front of the place is pretty well guarded, but that's it. And Felix? He hangs around the back. He's there now. Oh, fresh from the printer. Shall we? I want to know who the hell they are. They come out of nowhere, destroy my car, tell me to leave my home, and you say nobody. Nobody knows anything. Nah, Felix. Nobody's seen nothing. Then maybe they're not looking hard enough. Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, was a strategy pioneered by the Germans in World War II. It refers to a fast attack designed to inspire fear and confusion, penetrating quickly behind enemy lines. against the wall, keep your hands where I can see him. Nice. Comfortable? Hello, Felix. Who the hell are you people? My name is Johnny. We got a lot in common, Felix. We're both in the car theft game. Only we work Miami and you, well, you work someplace else. You have 48 hours. After that, we'll make your travel arrangements for you. Leave town. I'm supposed to be scared of some fancy ass suits and a shotgun? You better get the hell out of my establishment. I hear you. You're busy. You got a lot to do. After all, you only have 47 hours, 59 minutes, and 10 seconds. Left. Trust me, Felix. You want to move on. You got a lot of headaches here you don't need. Miami. It's very humid in the summer. You got all these people you have to manage. Plus, your place is on fire. I'm trying! Stick here! Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Did you see the shopping list your mother gave Sam? Corey is eating his own body weight and cereal every day. He's a growing boy. I have to say I like this Johnny. He's got flair. He reminds me of the cover in Dublin when we first met. Do you remember what you called yourself? Michael McBride. Michael McBride? Sometimes I wonder if he's the one I fell in love with. I wouldn't be surprised. We caused a lot of mayhem in your life. He was your type of guy. Yes, he was. Where'd he go? Well, you know how it is with cover IDs. You become who you need to be. And everyone gets to guess who you really are. I'll see you.
see you later, my friend. I have an appointment at ASA dismantling and demolition. Faye, if you see this guy... I'll give him a kiss from you. Publishing. We spoke on the phone yesterday. Oh, right. Um, you sell the calendars. <laughs> no, darling. I make the calendars. Theme calendars. Firefighters. Lumberjacks. Cops. Cowboys. And now the men of demolition. Nothing turns a woman on more than when something goes boom. All I need from you are names and photos of all your... Demolition guys, do me a favor. Don't tell them you're doing it. Why is that? No feelings get hurt if I just talk to the guys I'm interested in. All I need is another homely firefighter offering to wax his chest in my office. So, um, what do you look for? Depends. But I think I'm looking at Mr. January right here. Target selection is one of the least glamorous but most important elements in any strategy. You want to take out the people your opponent depends on, the ones his organization can't function without. Lose your keys? I can give you a ride. scared loaded with a bean background so won't do any permanent damage but the temporary damage that hurts like hell <laughs> did I forget to mention that Maybe you should put these on and get into the trunk of my car. How you talking about, man? Yeah, you see, look. There's an element of theater in any offensive campaign. It's not just about bullets and bodies. Killing people usually creates more problems than it solves. It's about undermining your enemy's will to fight, destroying the morale of his troops, sending the message that fighting back is useless because the battle is already lost. I brought you a little going away present. You call this a present? Yeah, they're alive. Yeah, but you won't be. I'm good to go if you are. You really want to do this in front of all these people in broad daylight? You just wait, Johnny boy. Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait 23 hours and 14 minutes. Clean this up, man. Yeah. Hello, Johnny. This is Tony Soto. Maybe you've heard of me. You're Felix's boss, yeah. There's a car coming up the street. I see it. I want to talk to you. Well, go ahead and talk. That's what phones are for. No, in person. Get in the car. Get in the car. I'm new to Miami, but are most people that stupid here? I'll leave two of my guys with your people unarmed to guarantee your safety. And I'm not asking, I'm telling. Now, get in. Keep these boys company. I'm going to meet Tony Soto.
There's an old saying in war that no plan survives the battlefield. Often, as a situation evolves, you create new enemies. Sometimes you create new alliances, new friends. Soldiers are fine for dealing with the enemies, but you need a spy to handle new friends. Behold, the ghost haunting Felix Cole. Where are you from? Around. Why am I here? You got style, Johnny. You're aggressive. Oh, I like that. Nice to be appreciated. Felix has been a good earner. But any guy who lets someone punk him like you did, that's a 17-year-old kick his ass with a baseball bat. Well, I can't have that kind of weakness in my house. I couldn't agree more. Which brings me to my question. What exactly do you want? My team doesn't like competition. We want to be the only game in town. We're selfish that way. I'm selfish this way. Nobody operates in this neighborhood without dealing with me. I'll deal with you. Listen, Felix is an amateur. He steals a few cars for sale and leaves the rest off in shop shops. Go to a high school, a kid can do that. Us, we deal in high-end exports, shipping them overseas at a markup. Overseas? How do you get the cars through customs? We clean them and clone them. Untraceable. Sell them at twice the price. Now, I can't have these idiots running around boosting minivans with a shim and a screwdriver. <laughs> you can talk, Johnny. I'm going to give you that. But let's see if you can deliver. <laughs> the street bring it back clean show me how it works you could be my new car man felix is out felix is out or you are so this is your job application more or less so meanwhile, some poor guy's running around looking for his $150,000 car. Yeah, we'll get it back to him. We gotta move fast on this one. Yeah, no kidding. You know, I went to Felix's place earlier to do some surveillance. He's been going nuts since we did our thing. Well, the more panicked he is, the easier our job is. Yeah, but you know, this isn't just business, Mike. I mean, he put the word out to every kid in the neighborhood to look for Corey. That was the plan. We made him look vulnerable. With Tony breathing down his neck, he has to look strong now. Fine, quit yapping, let's go. The actual theft of a car isn't difficult. The hard part is selling it once you have it. Between the license, registration, tax records, and VIN numbers, it's surprisingly hard to turn a car into cash. The best approach is to start with clean paperwork on another car from out of state, then match the stolen car to the clean paperwork. That means new VIN tags and a new registration. And in case someone decides to check closely, some hydrochloric acid in a file will make the etched VIN number on the car chassis impossible to read. Well, that's it. So, Mike, you think I should drive around South Beach, you know, just to make sure it still drives okay? Knock yourself out. I got a meeting. Okay, say hi to Carla for me. Hello, Michael. Hello, Carla. Do we have to go all the way to your office, or can we just do this here? Everybody's ever blown something up in Eastern Europe. Your ex-girlfriend's on there. I think we can rule Fiona out. Really? She has the expertise, and she certainly had access. A lot of names here. This could take some time. Two days. Driver. Uh, I could get started that much faster if you just drop me off at home, go up, make a left, make a... Bye, Michael. Oh, man, look at that sweater. What? 
No. Yeah, that was Christmas. Oh, Michael must have been 15, I think. God, don't they look cute? So sweet. Must be nice. Me and Corey, we never had a family like that. Neither did we, sweetheart. See the bruise on Michael's cheek? He and his father got into a fight because Frank was pushing his brother around. <clears throat> anyway, nobody was talking to anybody, so I said, I'm gonna throw the whole dinner down the garbage unless they stood there and took that picture. <laughs> he fought his dad on, on Christmas? He was being a good big brother. Like you. Is that everyone? Yep. Past and present. Oh, look who's on top. Hmm. I'll schedule photo sessions in a few weeks once I've had time to go over all this. Cool. Remember. I'll be waiting. I found your bummer. Who is he, Faye? His name is Derek Poole, and he works part-time for ASA. I guess we know what he does with the rest of his time. Can you get a home address? What do you think? What's the word? Fee got a name. Mm. You expecting somebody, Mike? Nope. Who's there? Sean. What happened? Phyllis and his boys jumped me. They said if I didn't set up a meeting with Corey, they would go after my players. He said he just wanted to talk to him. No, he's going to kill him. He'll probably kill you both. Should we call the police? Well, we could get Felix arrested for assaulting you, but his crew would still be on the streets and Corey would still be in danger. So what are we going to do, guys? Because I can't have this guy going after my players. Felix is on the edge. It's time to push him over. You're going to call him, set up the meeting. That's all right. We've done this before. <laughs> uh, so, this address Sean got from Felix, it's an alley, industrial area by Midtown. Perfect spot for an ambush. Bingo. You won yourself a beer, Mikey. So, poked around. Looks like this guy Felix is kind of a one-trick pony when it comes to hits. A few years ago, one of his rivals got popped. Same setup, different alley. If something works. Yeah. Basically, car pulls in, bad guys box him in, blows him down with lead. Well, this I can work with. Can I uh, work with that? Thank you. There are a couple of ways to make a vehicle bullet resistant. $60,000 worth of titanium siding will do the job. Or you can pick up a couple extra copies of the yellow pages from your local phone company. Most non-armor piercing bullets will only penetrate a phone book to a depth of an inch or two. Behind a layer of steel, it's more like a quarter of an inch. Commercially available foam sealants will keep your tires rolling long enough to get you out of danger. For the windows, dual layer high density plexiglass is your best bet. It's expensive, but bulletproof glass is not the sort of thing you skimp on. My guy called the cops. He checks out clean. You could drive it to the police station yourself, and you wouldn't have to worry about it. I must say, I'm impressed. We aim to please. All right, let's check out this operation of yours. Let's. A 
figured you for a nice ride. We don't like to take anything flashy to our location. We can't afford to attract attention. You're careful, that's good. Maybe a little crazy, but you're careful. When it counts. Now, about Felix. Don't worry about him. This checks out, I'll take care of Felix. Countless wars have been fought over misunderstandings, tragic mistakes, misperceptions that turn people against each other forever. Let's call this car. Let's do this. Of course, it's not so tragic when you're the one creating the misunderstanding. It's up here. We operate out of a warehouse. We do all our work there. Nothing's in our names, so and there's no connection to us. Johnny, is that Felix's car? You tell Felix you're meeting us? No, I... Well, then why the hell is he here? Did he follow you? Get down! guys for a ride? Yeah, yeah. Jesus, how did we did, did... We armored the car. We're crazy, but we're not stupid. You know, that son of a bitch, he... Yeah, about that. You have a few things to straighten out before we get into business together. Yeah, I'd say so. I think we're gonna leave Miami for a little while, let it cool down, give you time to clean house. You straighten out this thing with Felix. Oh, I'll straighten it out. There's our ride. We'll give you a call when it's time. I want you to get Big Ed on the phone. I'm gonna take care of this cat. <laughs> Felix cleared out of Miami as soon as he heard Tony was looking for him. His whole crew left, too. Yeah, it's probably safe to park in that part of town for a while. Here's your tickets. I got you three. I heard there was a lady doing most of the work. <laughs> Piece of cake, right, Mike? Hey, Corey wanted to say thanks. Hey, you guys. Listen, man, I just want to thank you guys for saving my life. Both of us. Thank you. And can you thank Fiona for us? Look, if you get anywhere near the Super Bowl, I want tickets, okay? I want to be sitting on a goalpost. You got it, man. <laughs> Yaffe. Michael, I believe I found your mama's house. All right, I'm on my way. The bad news is it looks like no one's lived there in a while. Mail's piled up in the box, newspapers stacking up. I think I may go in and poke around a little while I'm waiting. Yeah, Fee, no, I don't want to disturb... You think I've never broken into a house before? Fiona, just take it easy and be careful. When you booby trap someone else's place, you put the trigger in the door or just inside, so the odds of tripping it are much higher. If you rig your own place, the trigger has to be farther inside so you can safely enter. A tripwire is a quick and dirty version, but a contact plate under the rug is completely undetectable. Put a little accelerant on the walls, there's a reason they call it a fire trap. It's Fee, leave a message. Fee, I'm at the address you gave. Call me back if you get this. Hey, 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 
can't be here. Is anyone can't in there? Can't be here. Too Did you find anyone, anyone in there? Size. We don't know yet. We, we haven't been able to confirm. If you can confirm, too hot. No woman in there. Oh, someone was seen going in. I just need to know. Who said they came out? What did you say? Who would come out? Did anyone say anything? Did anyone in there? She's. She's. Move it back. Move it back. We're clearing his whole street. Let's go. It's me. Leave a message. Pick up the phone. Call me if you get this. I need to know where you are. to get a landline in here. Fool rigged his place to burst into flame. No surprise, but I let my curiosity get away with me. I waited for a burnout in one of the windows. Now I need a new cell phone. I thought you didn't think that... Breakfast for me. I see if you're gonna spend in the night now. Good for you. Putting down roots. So you've had your couple of days. What's the good news? I ruled out everyone on the list you gave me. I took another look at the blast, checking demolition specialists, uh, private contractors. You could have someone look at that list and see if there's anyone worth flagging. Is this some kind of a joke? From what I hear, you have plenty of time to run around town playing dress up with your friends. The best you can do for me is a needle in a haystack. If you have a better idea, I'm willing to hear it. You're my idea, Michael. Make no mistake. There are those who think you're more trouble than you're worth. I've convinced them that you're useful because you can find the bomber. What do you think's going to happen to you if you don't deliver? Same thing that would happen to you, I suppose. You going to run that check for me? Give me the list. Michael, it's time you focus on helping yourself or you're not going to be around to help anyone else. It's Fee, leave a message. 